Okay, nice question here for you to try on complex numbers. I'll read it through and then you'll be given a short time just to pause the video before the solution starts. So we've got the complex numbers u and v are given by u equals 1 plus 2 root 3i and v equals 3 plus 2i. In an argon diagram, u and v are represented by the points a and b respectively. A third point, C, lies in the first quadrant and is such that BC equals 2AB and angle ABC is 90 degrees. Find the complex number Z represented by C, giving your answer in the form X plus I, Y, where X and Y are real and exact. So the solution will be starting very shortly. Do fast forward if you'd like to check your answer quickly. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, the first thing I want to do is to draw an argon diagram, something like this, putting our points A and B on it. What we've got here is the origin O. Now, you'll notice I've written our complex numbers for U and V in coordinate form here. This one, for instance, three in the real direction, two units in the imaginary direction, representing the complex number 3 plus 2i. Okay, so we need to put on our point C. We know that the point C lies in the first quadrant here in such a way that BC is twice the length of AB and angle ABC is 90 degrees. Well, it's going to look something like this. And you can see BC is twice the length of AB and we've got the right angle here. Now, in order to get the complex number Z that goes from the origin O to C, what I'm going to be doing is working on displacements. I think you'll find this is the quickest, easiest way of doing it. I'm going to look at the displacement from A to B. It's going to be like this. I've illustrated it as two displacements, one vertically down in red and the other one across to the right in magenta. And what I notice is because this is a right angle here, all I need to do is rotate this displacement 90 degrees anti-clockwise. And if I start that displacement from B, it's going to look like this. And knowing that B to C is twice A to B. I just need to replicate this displacement again from here. So if we do that, it's going to look like this. So all I need to do now is just work out what these displacements are. Once I've got that, I just need to go from O to B, 3 plus 2i, and then add on two lots of the red displacement plus two lots of the magenta displacement. That will be in the I direction. OK, so let's just work out this vertical displacement. Now, I want this displacement here to be positive. So you've got to be careful here that this displacement is going to be the difference between the imaginary parts. But I want the bigger of the two, first of all. So it's going to be 2 root 3 minus the 2 here. I can illustrate that by this arrow here. And for the magenta displacement, that needs to be a positive value. And we do the difference between the real values, starting with 3 and then subtract 1, which is clearly going to be 2 units. So for Z, then, going from the origin to C, I've color coded this it's going to be equal to the complex number V, 3 plus 2i. And then we're doing two lots of the red displacement here, which is 2 root 3 minus 2. Remember now, though, it is horizontal in the real direction. And then we've got two lots of the magenta one upwards. That's two lots of 2i. 
Okay, so just expand this bracket out, you'll get this line, group up your real and imaginary terms, and you'll end up with this result here. So it is in this form x plus i y. We can see that the real part x is 4 root 3 minus 1, and the imaginary part y is just the 6. Okay, so hope you're able to uh, get that. Congratulations if you did without uh, any help from this video. And if you did try it another way, let me know how you got on by just writing in the comments. And if you like this method, just give me a like. Okay, so hopefully that's been of some use to you. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in another video.